Hi, it's Tanya here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about brows. So stick around. Let's get right into it. We're going to, um, I'm going to show you how to use a brow stencil and we're going to talk about different brow products and what they're all for. So next time you go into your Walgreens, your CVS, your Walmart, your Target, and you're standing in front of that huge wall of makeup going, I need something for my brows. What do I use? Is it going to be a brow pomade? Is it going to be a pencil? Is it going to be a micro pencil? Is it going to be a contour micro pencil? <laughs> All of these things that you wonder about, like what products do you use for your brows, right? There are so many and I have done videos and I'll link those down in the description box below on my favorite brow products. So let's get into it. Let's um, define some of what of these products are, what they do, if they will work for you and your, and your brows. So we're not just talking about me and my brows now. We're going to be talking about you and your brows. What problems do you have with your brows and what product do you use to solve those problems? All right, so let's get started. I am going to um, put my hair back so we can see what we're doing here. And I don't have any makeup on at the moment. All right, here we are, browless almost. All right, so this is the real deal here, folks. Um, <laughs> that's why I love YouTube. YouTube is kind of like karaoke, you know. It's not supposed to be perfect, but um, this is this is where you know you you see commercials for Maybelline and CoverGirl and brow whatever brow wow <laughs> commercials and um you know in real life women over 50 have uh, you know either their brows are going gray and they have some gray hairs in there or they did what i did <laughs> which was in the 80 what is it 80s or 90s and remember when that little sunny happy brow was in it was really super micro thin and i plucked to a fairly well and um and they didn't grow back um now there are ways to make your eyebrows grow back and somebody mentioned in one of my um, videos in the comment section about using castor oil was it i do believe that may work actually because i've been using mineral oil uh, and water combo which i make into a little mixture here, um, I used a little bit of mineral oil and a lot of water, and I've been taking off my makeup, and it seems like my hairs grow back um, a lot faster, and in other areas where I don't want them down here, where I don't want hairs down here, and I don't want them up here, but it seems like they've been growing back with the oil, so don't ask me I'm not a dermatologist. I have no idea why that's happening, but I believe that that may work actually. Um, but we have what we have, and this is the real deal here. I have a little bit of hair left of hair here, and then I have to draw the rest of, so I have what, like 25% brow and 75% I have to draw in. So, what brow products are there available? All right, so I have my notes here and they were extensive. So I apologize, but there were so many products when I got to thinking about it, it was like, oh my gosh, there's so many. Okay, so you have brow pomades. Okay, brow pomades are for spouse, for spouse, for sparse areas, okay? So the pomade is kind of a waxy um, tinted with the color of brows, either brown or blonde, tinted color, and it's a waxy paste that's very kind of thick. So it's great for sparse areas. So if you have brows and you just wanna fill in a little bit of color and the pomade also creates a control device that keeps your hairs kind of where you want them. Um, so that's really great. It's also great for defining your eyes. So if you want defined eyebrows, you can 
use the pom brow pomade and that's what you use for that. And I will put all this down in the description box below because you're going to be shocked at how many products there are. Okay, here's the next product, a uh, brow gel. Okay, so gels are for masking gray hairs. And I'm going to show you one of those products here. This is Essences Make Me Brow Gel Mascara. So this is for all of my um, friends out there and ladies watching who um, they're they're starting to get some gray hairs in their brows this will mask those and it will help separate and kind of feather your brows out so it's a great product I will demonstrate this as well and this one I recommend and it's very inexpensive and drugstore as we like it, right? All right, so next product is a brow powder. Now powders can come individual. They can come just as brow powder or they can come with a little pan of wax that goes with it. So you have the wax that you put on and then you put the brow powder onto the wax. This is similar to the brow pomade, but you're making it yourself. The brow pomade, the color, and the wax are already together. It's kind of a, actually the brow pomade is kind of a wax, a gel, and a color all mixed in. Um, so this product is separate and Wet n Wild has one, I believe. It's got uh, two colors, like a taupey and a brown, and then it has a little teeny pan of wax. So you put the, I don't have that product here. I don't use any of these products and I will tell you why in a minute. Um, but you can put the wax in and then you put the color on top of that and um, it does the same thing. It's good for sparse areas. It's good to, for defining your brows. It's good for adding color um, and good for controlling the hairs. All right, so the next product is brow stylers. Okay, so these are like mascara, but with more pigment. So they're a lot like this product, but they have more pigment, okay? and they have kind of a thicker consistency and um, they give you actually they don't no they don't have a thicker consistency the pomade is the one that has the thick consistency the brow styler is like a mascara but with more pigment so that when you put it on it kind of wipes on um, it gives you a look um, like they're drawn in so it has um, a spoolie like this and then when you put it on oh, can't I don't know if I could do it with this product when you put it on see how e each one of those spoolie I don't know how to explain this see how it almost looks like it appears like it's drawing little lines well the brow styler does that better than this. I'm just kind of demonstrating what a brow styler would do for you. It would give you the little lines like this next to each other that almost look like, um, let me see if I can, yeah, see like that. See how there's a line, 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 line. So it, it's kind of like a pomade and a mascara, brow mascara together. And what it does is it separates it, it, it gives you a more drawn in look, so it's great for filling in sparse areas. And it separates controls, lashes, and gives the, la the lashes, I'm sorry, the brows pigment, more pigment. So if your brows look kind of, if they're faded, you want them to look like a deeper, richer chocolate brown, then you would use the brow styler and it would fill in a little bit and put more color in all at the same time. So that's a brow styler. Okay, the next one is a brow mascara. And that's for um, full brows. It's very similar to the brow styler. And I have to honestly say, I have not used any of those products. So I do not know if they actually work but that's what they're meant to do. And it does the similar thing. Now you have brow stencils. A brow stencil is this right here. And this looks like a brow and you put it on and you color it in. And that's a brow stencil. And we're gonna play with that here in a minute. Then you have micro pencils. 
micro pencils and I don't have any here. Micro pencils are like the NYX micro brow. They say the word micro on them. And the difference between those and this NYX is that the tip is fine. It's micro. It's much smaller than this. And it is great for filling in for sparse areas. It's good for creating a brow in a smaller area. Um, it's good for enhancing the color. Uh, of your brows. So that's a micro pencil. Now brow soap. Brow soap gives your brows a more fluffier look and kind of keeps them in place. And okay. And and it makes them fluffy and so they stay put all day. Now you have a um, volumizing fiber gel and that is for unruly brows. That's if you have big bushy brows and you need to control them. So that's what a volumizing uh, fiber gel is for. And the final product is a brow pens. A brow pen is like the Stila. It has a pen. It, it's it's a, like a paintbrush. So, and these are great for putting in fine hairs for mimicking hairs, hair-like strokes, and more permanent application. This one will stay on all day. It's completely sweat proof. It's great for filling in sparse areas. It's And you can use it to create an entire brow, but it's not the best product for that. Then you have, and I didn't even put it on the list because you have two other types of pencils. You have this slanted pencil here, and this is from Wet n Wild. This is slanted, so it's different tip than this is the NYX in charcoal. See the different tips on those? And then you have the regular pencil, which is what I use. See, it seems like it's, there you go. So those, you have those three types. Now, the slanted pencil works similar to that, and it is designed to create hair-like strokes. So, we'll just do it on my hand right there, see, hair-like strokes. Where this pencil, see how thick that is? You have to like, it's different. And then you have the pencil that I use that can go hair-like, but they're not it's see how not defined that is compared to that. So a big difference there. All right. So those are all the products. I will put them down in the description box below be, so that you can evaluate for yourself what you're trying to do. Are you trying to create brows entirely like I am? Or are you trying to um, fill in sparse areas? Are you trying to create more definition and you want more pigment in your natural brow, but you already have beautiful brows? Or are you um, trying to do all three? Or are you trying to cover up perhaps gray hairs that have, have grown into your brows? So all those will be down in the description box below and I'll categorize them in, in your needs. Like I'll put your need first, like sparse brows. These are the products you use, you know, filling in all your brows. If you have no brows, these are the products you use and I'll put them, categorize them like that for you so it's very easy for you to just look down in my description box and find out what you need, what products you need to get. All right, so let's get started. All right, here we go. This is what we're starting with and we're just gonna play with this. I'm gonna use this here for you right now and I'm gonna show you how to use this, so. What you do is you place this here, and this edge here has to be straight vertical, this edge, so that the brow sits properly. And we're going to position this kind of where my brow is, right there. So that should be straight, right there. And these are tricky. I'm going to be honest with you. So you want to make sure this edge is straight. If it's not, your brows are going to end up like that. 
we don't want that. This is the best stencil I have, and I will try. I, I apologize. I This is called Essential Essence of Beauty. I don't even know where I got these. But you can get these, and I think Elf has some. So I'll put that down in the description box below for like a dollar. All right, so like that. And then, now I'm creating a brow here from, you know, and I'm going to use my pencil. This is my NYX in taupe, available at the drugstore. And I'm just going to draw it in. You just, you can go for broke on this. You can just um, fill in this area. Try not to move it too much. As you can see where my hand placement is on this. I don't like this method and I never use it. So I'm going to be perfectly transparent with you on that. I have this stencil. I've had it for a long time, but I never do this because it's very time consuming to me and it doesn't seem to fit in the right place. But I did want to, I did want to demonstrate it for you in case you were considering. And if at the very least it just saves you money because you go, you know what, I saw her use that brow stencil and I said that's not for me, <laughs> then you don't. All right, there we are. That is a big brow. Woohoo! But if you like it, hey, it might be the thing for you. That is a huge brow. Wow. That's a brow wow. <sighs> Look at my other one. It's like non existent. All right. So now how should you, and I'm going to draw this one in like I normally do, and then you tell me what you like better. With the pencils, you always want to sharpen these every day when you use them because the sharper, the better with a regular pencil. Okay, so there has been some discussion on where you start the line of your brow and where you finish the line of your brow. I have recently learned, and I learned it, by a YouTube video. Uh, a brow specialist was on one of uh, the channels that I watch. Is it Matthias? I think it was Matthias. If I find that video, I will put it down in the description box below. Because alert ladies, we have been doing this wrong all these years. Okay, you know how most people line up with the end of their nose? She said, no, do not do that it will put your brow too far back and it looks funny. I have been lining it up with this inside part of my nose right here, not this edge, but this part. And that's okay. But she said the true line of a brow should be where your eye starts. See where the tear duct is? You go straight up and that's where you start. Where your brow should end would be on a diagonal of where your eye ends right here. That way your brow is, is, um, how should I say this? That way your brow fits the size of your eye and the size of your face. If everybody starts their brow here and everybody ends it here and everybody, put, you know, it, it, what if you have a big nose? What if your nose is out to here and you start it there? You're going to have, you know, it's going to look funny. Let's do it. Let's do it just to show you. Okay, that means my brow would start there. Let's pretend I didn't have a hair right here just for a minute. See where that brow starts? That looks funny, doesn't it? It starts way over here. That's why she said don't do that. And if, same for the back part here where it stops. If you exceed your eye, look what happens. See how that pulls my eye down? I've already got this extra skin here. See how that just droop? It makes it droop. We don't want droopy eyes. So you stop here. So let's just take that off for a minute. See, that's the wrong application. And there's the right application. See how that just brung it up, brought it up, brung it up, brought it up a little bit. See, much better, right? All right, so this actually, this eyebrow isn't too bad. It doesn't look too bad. But this is what I would normally do on this side, and I'm just going to wipe that off. 
because we're playing here. All right, so this is how I would normally do my eyebrow. And I can arch it if I want. You can arch it. Now, if you arch, she said, that's correct. How we had the arch is correct. You go with the pupil of your eye. So I have to look straight on to do this. So your pupil is there. And then you just cross your pupil. So right about there. See that? That's where I would be. That's where I would be doing that. That's where the arch would go. And the end goes with the end of your eye at a diagonal. So if your eye ends here, and you might even use a, a piece of paper or something, see, then that ends right there. So it starts at the beginning of your eye, where your tear duct is straight up, and ends there. Now, if you don't like the look, you can most certainly, I would, you know, if, 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 if you think your eyebrows are too far apart at that point, just go ahead and add some more. Let's see what happens. Let's just do that. Let's add more on here. Let's pass, surpass the, the eye part and let's just add more and see what happens. See, if you like that better, do that. You know, if you want your eyebrows closer together, that's fine, you know, and I think they should always stop here at the end though, for sure. But if you like them to be like that, then that might be better for you. So and let's wipe it up just so you can see. Okay, so there it is. If I move it further in and if I put it back where it belongs, that's what it looks like there. So there's a slight difference. So I would play with it and see what you like best. This is a very full brow. This is a skinnier brow. Now, another thing you might want to consider, and this is totally just my opinion, okay? Um, your face, how big your face is, how big your features are. If you have really small features, which I consider myself to have small to medium features, you don't want a huge, huge brow, you know? I mean, it's just gonna overpower your face. So look at your features and find a brow that is going to work for you, that's not gonna overpower your face. Um, this one is, quite large and quite dark. Now, something you can do to lighten this is you can take any powder. Find a light powder. I could use this Pacifica, or you can use um, Wet n Wild uh, Single Shadow and Brulee, and get yourself a brush and just go in and watch me lighten this one here. And just pat it on. See what that does? Just lighten it. Now, can you do this with a gray color? Absolutely. So if you have a brown pencil and you do not like that pencil color and you want to tone it down with what I just did but add some gray, you find yourself an, a gray eyeshadow. I have this one by Sephora. And you just put your brush in it and you just tone it down. Now you're gonna to have to be a little bit more exact where you place it. So I would use a smaller brush. I would use something like this when you do that because now I have it like all over the place. <laughs> oh, you can dust it off there, it, it works. You still can dust it off. But so you take a small brush like this, a liner brush, and you go in and you just go through your brow hairs with the gray color. And that will transform the pencil that you put on. It'll make it slightly more gray. See that? It's more gray than it was. It's not quite the color it was when I started. So I don't re recommend doing what I just did where you're dipping your whole brush in the gray and doing that but dip a smaller brush, much smaller, and that works. And that will change the color just slightly for you. So if you like your pencil a little bit more um, grayer or, yeah, if you have a brown and you want it to be like that gray brown that looks better with your gray hair, then do that. So there we go. Anyway, 
whichever way works best for you. And then we have this little baby, which is the Essence um, Brow Gel. It's the Gel Mascara. All right, so I want to show you what that does. And to do that, I'm going to have to take off this color. So I'm using my little uh, mixture here. Remove the... This works great, by the way, for taking off eye makeup, the little bit of mineral oil and water. It works so good for taking off eye makeup. Mascara, too, especially. All right, so now we're down back to where we were. All right, so there's my little baby brows there. We're going to put some little gel mascara on them. So if you have little gray brows, grow, gray hairs growing into your brows, you just take this little mascara and you just brush it up like that. See that? See how it kind of separates the brow? Oops, and also puts color in it for you. So that's what that does. And this is a great, great product. And let's see what color is this. So you have the color. This is uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. 01 Blondie Brows. Three in one fill shape colored brow gel with fibers for naturally fuller looking brows. All right, so there you go. All right, I will put all the products that I showed you down in the description box below. I will also put a list of my favorite pencils um, that are not too yellow, not too orange, and they're great for women um, with gray hair. So I will put all of the list of my favorite colored pencils down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching as always. Thanks for having fun with me and experimenting with our little, um, our little brow stencil, 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 which didn't actually go too bad. It actually looks all right. Um, and then you can see what that looks like and I'll put um, something down in the description box below for you to purchase something similar to what I showed you there in case I can't get that exact one for you because I bought that one like a long time ago. All right, thanks so much for watching. I hope that helps with your brows and we will catch you next time. Bye.